Alright guys, I need to ask you guys something. I got two topics to talk about, and you guys need to help me right now. So a lot of people have been asking me to do a dual com with them, you know, for shoutouts and stuff. You know, smaller uh, YouTube channels, people with like 50 and 60 subscribers. Uh, should I do it, or is that just stupid? So my second topic is about my GTA 5 video. This one guy said that everything was fake and this was really old information, blah 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 blah. But this was an official PlayStation website that actually leaked this information. And two hours after everything was leaked, uh, Rockstar removed it. So there are some truth to this leak. I don't know what is real and what is fake. All we have to do is wait until the game comes out. Then we can buy it, play it. Kill people with dillos, and then we can see what is real and what is fake, you know? Woohoo! Alright, so let's talk about shoutouts. In the Call of Duty community, shoutouts are a little hated on uh, because people don't like it, but. And some people like it, some people hate it, I don't know. Uh, some people uh, ask you for money for shoutouts, you know? You have to pay them for shoutouts, some people do it for free, some people do it if you upload a video to their channel. Um, but should I do it? I don't know. Uh, I remember I had a um, dual commentary with Brian Spag uh, back in the day. And uh, he was a funny guy, he won a capture card from a, um, from a freaking uh, giveaway, giveaway that I had. Uh, I had a Dazzle capture card uh, giveaway, maybe one year ago, I don't know, but that is not the point. Um, should I do a uh, dual commentary with people just for a shout out, or should I just, uh, you know, delete the message and just move on? You guys really need to help me on this, because I know that in the YouTube community, the, um, you know, the shoutouts and, you know, giveaways and stuff like that is not really that popular. So, please help me out. And by the way, every time I kill a guy in this video, it's gonna be slow motion on it. Because you guys need to see my bad aim. So, it's just like a cinematic effect. But, uh, yeah. Tell me, what should I do? Shoutout? Or no shoutout? You guys have to understand that I want to help out other people, of course. Uh, it's really tough now to get a lot of subscribers because the gaming community is so freaking big. You have so many gaming channels out there. A lot of them are in HD and a lot of them are, well, not in HD. Some people are even recording with the HD camera. And dude, get a capture card. But anyway, I don't want to be that guy that gives people shoutouts all the time for subscribers and stuff like that. I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to, I don't want to be like a you no, know, like a really stupid Call of Duty commentator with bad English. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, but anyway, I don't want to be, you know, that shoutout guy, you know, that stupid guy that gives people shoutouts and everyone is going to hate on me because I'm doing it. So should I have some kind of competition or something like that for shoutouts? You know, give me your best clip of the day and I will give you a shoutout on my channel. Or should I just give people shoutouts? Because, you know, you have a lot of good YouTubers out there that deserves a lot more subscribers. I've seen people that create so much funny content and just have so much funny uh, commentaries and really good montages. And they have only like 50 or 60 subscribers. And um, some people out there do not deserve subscribers. Like, uh, I don't know, Raw Instinct. Why Raw Instincts have still over 100,000 subscribers still blows my mind. He should have like 2 or 5 subscribers. Yeah, 5. You should have 5 subscribers, Max. You suck ass. You steal content from other big YouTubers. And you just cheat the system. You're a dumbass, man. 
Alright, so let's talk about GTA 5 information. It's really hard to find, you know, real information because Rockstar is really quiet about uh, GTA 5. Um, they don't want to talk about it because they want their fans to have the best experience possible when they are buying the game. And I can completely understand that, you know. And you know, the problem is that GTA 5 is maybe is gonna be like released in May next year. And that's, I don't know, seven months from now. And I can't freaking wait, you know. The map is probably gonna be twice as big as uh, GTA San Andreas. You can do everything that you uh, could do previously in GTA San Andreas. You could do everything now and a lot more. So you can uh, swim underwater, you can train in the gym, you can uh, pimp your cars, you can do everything that you could do in uh, GTA San Andreas. And you can do a lot more, you know, you have big shop shopping malls now, and you can just walk into a museum and steal an axe and go around and kill people. Uh, this is not 100% confirmed information, but... It looks like it, because a lot of people are talking about the same things, and uh, if, if you are looking closely at the screenshots from Rockstar, you can see different things that actually confirms a lot of the information. Like, you know, we know that the uh, jet plane is back. Finally! Thank you, Rockstar! And uh, I'm actually gonna upload more trolling videos, you know, shoutcasting trolling and stuff like that, and uh, booster hunter videos, because for some reason, when I'm trolling on Xbox Live, my English goes into crazy mode. For some reason, my English becomes, you know, a lot better. I can talk fast, I can shortcast, um, and I can say things that actually make sense. But when I'm doing a normal commentary like this, my English is crap. I can't even finish a normal sentence without, uh, you know, doing this. Saying, you know, um, eh, uh. I don't know, uh, bleh, bleh. so, so for some reason, my English goes into super crazy mode, and, uh, my newest booster hunt hunter episode is gonna be up, I don't know, I have delayed this epi episode for so long now, uh, I found some stupid boosters on terminal, and I found some stupid boosters on another map, I can't remember the name, um, but, I had problems uh, with the uh, boosters on uh, Modern Warfare 3 because every single booster are in uh, the uh, one versus one playlist and two versus two and three versus three playlist. So I have some problems problems with finding boosters because my style is more like Sandy Ravage. I like to play a normal free for all and find the boosters there. But the problem in, in Modern Warfare 3 is that the boosters uh, have a freaking booster forum and uh, they can plan different booster lobbies and uh, joining each other on uh, the versus playlist. So what we have to do, we have to register on that webpage and trick them into believing that we are boosters. We need to really fool them, so we can easily join their booster lobbies and bust them, you know. Boosting is a really big problem in Call of Duty and we need to fix it right now. So if anyone is in a booster a lobby, invite me please, or invite Lost in Place, so we can record it and bust them. And make them look stupid. Because people are earning stupid stuff. You know, they are earning things that they shouldn't earn. Because they are cheating. And we have a really big problem uh, on the, the Call of Duty Elite forums. Because people that are really at the top of the leaderboards. Clan leaderboards and normal leaderboards. They are boosters. They are pl they are uh, playing you know against each other and they are just boosting. They are not 
playing for reals. They are just boosting. And we need to fix that right now. They need to ban every single clan. Ban every single clan. Oh yeah, I'm a rapper. Anyway. They need to ban every single clan that are boosting. You know, every single one that are at the top rank. They need to look at their recent games. Because a lot of them have like playing... You know, they are playing Domination and they have like... I don't know, 50 headshots uh, in one round of Domination. And uh, they have like, I don't know, two Moabs in that same round and, you know, just stupid stuff like that. They are boosting in clan matches and we need to fix that right now. We need to ban them because uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 is so freaking broken. It's broken beyond belief. This game is more broken than Modern Warfare 2 ever was. This game is more broken than uh, World at War and Call of Duty Modern Warfare, you know, the first game. Every single Call of Duty game has had a lot of problems with boosters. And Modern Warfare 3 is probably the worst game out there when it comes to boosters. They have booster friendly uh, game modes. And, you know, even though Modern Warfare 2 had one man army. Which is probably the most overpowered weapon ever made in a Call of Duty game. That game was still a lot easier to bust boosters in. And I can't believe why people are still boosting in Modern Warfare 2. Just join a freaking hack it, hack it lobby if you want to earn everything. Don't, don't boost, don't ruin free for all for other people. Because nobody cares about Modern Warfare 2 anymore. But everyone cares about boosters. They don't care if you are boosting in World at War, Modern Warfare, or you know, Cold 4, Modern Warfare, uh, Black Ops. They don't care where you are boosting. But if you are boosting, they are gonna bust you. So if you want to earn everything, just play the game normally. I don't care if you just recently bought uh, Modern Warfare 2 and you don't have shit. You know, I don't care, just don't boost. Boosting is for pussies. And you, you need to realize that, you know, because you are running the risk of getting banned from Xbox Live and PlayStation Network and, you know, you will lose every single respect out there. And if everyone remember uh, G-Unit, he was the guy that uh, uh, faked a nuke on Machinima, or actually two nukes, or three nukes actually, he uh, faked a knife. Only nuke, he faked uh, the fastest nuke ever, and he faked another nuke, like, I can't remember. It was like a Rafika or Glock only nuke. And, you know, you will lose respect by doing that. And G in it actually said that he has boosted before, because somebody with a capture card, I can't remember his name, actually joined G in its lobby in Black Ops. And that was a booster lobby. Don't be a big commentator and boost. Don't do it, man. Be smart. Anyway, this commentary is over. See you guys later.